Hi, I'm Dennis Blosser, CEO of Marietta Silos and USA Silos Service. We're here today to answer some of your frequently asked questions regarding silo construction, inspection, repair, and silo cleaning. I would like to talk to you about the different methods of constructing a concrete silo in the United States today. There are two typical systems that are used. One is the jump form system, and one is the slip form system. Right now, I'd like to talk to you about the jump form system. The jump form system is a relatively newer type of construction method that's been around for the last 30, 40 years. It is the most dependable and bulletproof type silo construction method that you're going to find available today. And it's what we call the most bulletproof. It's typically the most economical also. Now a jump form system is produced with a jump form machine or rig. That piece of equipment is a combination form and scaffolding system that is used in a variable different sizes, such as it can go from a diameter of 10 foot up to a diameter of 65 foot. The system is brought in much like an erector set, assembled to the size that you need for that particular job. And then it is set up to where you pour four foot height of concrete at a time. So the process is, is you set an outside form, you set the reinforcement steel and the block outs and the inserts. You then have time for a quality control check to ensure everything's installed correctly. You then set the inside form and then you pour a four foot tall section of concrete wall. Then the integrated scaffolding system is jacked up four feet so that the work level deck changes relative to the height of the silo and the whole process is started over again. Now this is the most economical way to build a silo. And as we, like I said before, it is the most bulletproof because you have the time to install the equipment, install the reinforcement steel, check it, and then pour the concrete. One of the things you'll notice about a jump form is it does have lines on the outside of the surface to where you can see where the form lines were. Also, with a jump form silo, there are several other advantages. One is it's not susceptible to weather um, incidents because of the nature of pouring in segments. You can stop, let's say a uh, cold spell comes through or a thunderstorm or some type of weather anomaly that forces you to stop construction, you can stop. Also, because you're segmentally pouring the silo in four foot um, increments, you don't have to bring all your materials on site at one time you can stagger those materials in while you're building the silo. So one of the advantages that means is that you don't have to have a huge amount of real estate adjusting to the silo during construction. You do have to have room for cranes and for lay down, but you don't have to have a huge area all around the silo. Thank you for watching our video series. If you have any questions about a silo, just give us a call. We like talking about silos as much as we like working on them.